Pulse Live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly into your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. It's Monday. <laughs> hey, some of you are retired. Monday makes no difference. <laughs> it is Monday here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan, and welcome to this episode of Cafe Devo. For January 15th, 2024, I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here as I usually do with my pal Bugsy. He's over there in the corner keeping his normal spot occupied, and I hope your Monday is going well. As we've been doing for the last several days, we return to the book, Good Morning, Lord, Can We Talk? It was written by Dr. Charles Swindoll, copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum. Just chill about you. <laughs> I like the tongue-in-cheek definition of philosophers one of my seminary professors would occasionally use. It's classic. Philosophers are people who talk about something they don't understand and then make you think it's your fault. <laughs> Lots of philosophies are floating around, and most of them are downright confusing. Interestingly, those that are clear enough to be understood usually end up focusing on the individual. Consider some of them. Education says, be resourceful and expand yourself. Psychology says, be confident, assert yourself. Religion says, be good and conform yourself. Epicureanism says, be sensuous and enjoy yourself. Materialism says be satisfied and please yourself. Pride says be superior, promote yourself. Humanism says be capable and believe in yourself. And philanthropy says be generous and release yourself. Yourself, yourself, yourself. We're up to our gills with it, aren't we? Do something either for yourself or with yourself or to yourself but always about self. How different this is from Jesus' model and message. He offered a rather fresh and much needed invitation for our me first generation. Jesus says, in effect, be a servant, give to others. In today's vernacular, someone might say, hey, just chill. Now that's a philosophy anybody can understand and without question, it is attainable. Here's what God has to say about it. Because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give each of you this warning. Don't think you are better than you are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves, measuring yourselves by the faith God has given us. Those are the words written in Romans 12, 3. Know what that means? Let's stop thinking so highly of ourselves, our gifts, our contributions, and our abilities. Stop permitting two strong tendencies, selfishness and conceit, to control us. Let nothing that either of these words suggests win a hearing. Replace selfishness and conceit with genuine, authentic humility. That's the ticket. Father, help us to see ourselves as you do, not demeaning ourselves below the level that you created us to be, but not elevating ourselves above it either. Let us look at ourselves through the lens of your spirit so that we can walk in you and become more like you. Bless us, Lord, and help us to serve well. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, that's going to do it for us on this Monday edition of Cafe Devo. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.